Hey, welcome to Pie Tales. My name is Lloyd, and we got a special guest as usual, um, a college friend, a uh, friend for life, <laughs> uh, someone that went pro or could have gone pro. <laughs> oh my we God, got, don't do this to me. <laughs> we got Anita in Anita the Pie Tales studio. Anita, that's your camera. You can talk to the people, talk to me, whatever you want to do. Okay. Tell the people a little bit right now who you are. I'm Anita, name? also known as Anita Gone Pro, as yes, Lloyd will call sir. me. <laughs> just saying. Um, yeah, I'm just happy to be here, Lloyd. I mean, it's been a minute. We went to the LSU together. Yeah. Uh, it was a time. Was it a good time? It was. For it you? was. A, it was a good time. Okay. I don't That's even know where, when I met you. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Now nah, we'll get into that. Uh, first, I don't want to keep you waiting. Anita said, "Surprise me with the with the dessert." With the desserts. I didn't really like that, but <laughs> <laughs> here, you know, we're here now. Um, yeah. Have a so yeah, too. no, just a plain old real well, chocolate chip cookie. So if you want to appreciate it, grab your cookie. Um, you said you watched an episode. Um, did you know what you were getting into today? Oh, no. No? Nah. I, I, I watched, um, because our friend, Feardos, uh, that we worked together with. Yeah, yeah, So when you, uh, show me the podcast, I watched a little bit of hers, but mm -hmm. I didn't watch too much of it. I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to, like, psych myself out. I'm just going to come on the show. Yeah. I've had see. another guest do that. And his show lasted an hour. Oh, um, really? I sent him, because I usually do outlines for people. Mm hmm Sent him the outline. He said, I'm not even going to look at it. Like, I'm going to just come do it. Yeah. So, yeah. You, That's kind of how I feel. I'm not going to lie. I have a sweet tooth, but I'm also going through a sweet cleanse. Okay. Which means I'm not going to eat too much of the cookie. I oh, appreciate no, the cookie. That's okay. But, I no, no, no. Relapse. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm going through um, a sweet cleanse, kind of like minimizing my sugar intake. Because mm -hmm. I feel like. I just for some reason couldn't say no to sugar for the longest time, but now I'm just trying to like minimize it. So like no syrup. I mean pancakes, which is like the driest thing ever. Eating yeah, pancakes without like syrup, pancakes right? A little bit. But um, yeah, just want to preface by so in case you don't see me get cookies, not because I don't appreciate the cookie. No, that's okay. I'm not gonna lie. This cookie, I mean, I thought maybe they might have heated it up, but it doesn't look like they did. Um, still a good chip cookie. Regular. It's still a good cookie. I can taste it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, now nah, we take a few bites and then just go ahead and get into it. Um, yeah, since you let me just break it down. Mm -hmm. I already kind of told you this is for people to well for me to reconnect with people. This we're, we're here now. Okay. Um, talk about where we met, how we met. Give the person a chance to tell like where they are and where they are in life. So maybe if they want to come back. Uh, they can give us like updates. You can become a reg regular oh, okay. reoccurring guest. Okay. Um, yeah, because I mean, I'm inviting people that I really, I mean, that made an impact on my life and this, that, and the other. Oh, I made an um, impact on your life. Yeah, no, yeah, I think you did. Because yeah, let's talk about how we met. Um, so, my major was computer science in college. I didn't, I was doing like random work studies. I did disability services, yeah. I did RA. And then finally, I got an IT job at LSU. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay. You're jogging my memory a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These, once stuff starts unlocking. My memory is bad, so. Yeah, yeah you kind of have to help me out. No, no, no. It was like unlocking. All right, so um, I got into the IT department, so this is more in my last year. This is more what I, my major is, you know, uh, geared towards. Mm. So I pull up the first day, um, walk to the third floor of. Uh, dang, what was it called? Andy Boyd was right next to it. Oh, Jeez. Grace King. Grace King Hall. Grace King Hall, okay. At LSU. Mm -hmm. Walked to the third floor. They're like, hey, this person, she's going to train you. Uh, oh, yeah, just yeah, happened yeah, to yeah, be yeah. Anita. <laughs> we literally just walked across okay. the like little street there. Um, Walked into Highland. It was across the street from uh, Grace King. Uh, we was in the computer lab. You were like, this is what we do. And I remember now. Not, not you, not I remember now. To... My memory is poor, but I remember <laughs> because um, yeah, I'm surprised you remember that because I was like, when did I meet him? I, met, I think I met him in class. Nope. I think I met him like at this specific building and not like I don't know what I thought, but you're definitely right. And I remember because yeah. I remember you walking in and I was just like, listen, I'm just just listen to me. I was like, just listen. To me. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not how you should do it <laughs> this way. You know, and I remember like so you giving you all the little tips and tricks and mm -hmm. like taking you to one of the dorms and I was like, This is how they tell you to do it, but this is how you should do it, you know. And I remember all I remember all of that. So I'm surprised you remember that. But yeah, yeah that's definitely how we met. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um 
after that, it was like every time you were in the office, you know, I would just give you more tips and tricks. Yeah, yeah. Got you familiar with everybody at the at the job. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then we ended up being in classes together, which we were. Yeah, so that's that was. Dude, I, I don't know if we were. We might have been in a class prior to that. So you were computer science. Yes, yes, as well. yes. Did you have a concentration? Yeah, it was cloud computing and networking. Oh, good, yeah. good for you. So you took networking. Yeah, I did. Yeah, sure. Sure. I did not. Did you? Like an idiot. Oh, uh, what did you do? But, then? Huh? What did you What did you concentrate on? Uh, so my concentration was software uh, engineering. Um, just because it was all kind of default. Default. You know? Yeah, it. I did, actually didn't end with that. I ended with like IT management. I took ISDS classes and uh, was supposed to get like a minor, but that didn't. That didn't really happen. It just got me out. Of it. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I thought I think we might have had one class before we officially met, but it might have been a bigger one. You know, whatever. Anyway, but once we met at work, we had classes. And then I don't know what class you. It felt like we had like five, six classes together. Yeah, it was just like it was just like now we're together. Yeah, uh, I remember statistics. Ooh, studying together. Is this where we got close outside of probably statistics? Yeah, with our friend Derica. Shout out Derica. Shout out to Derica. Hopefully she watches this. Um, Remember we used to meet up. Study. At y'all's place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in the in the lobby. Um, Oh shit. Get coffee. Ooh, Ooh, if I could find that video. I have it. I know exactly the video you're talking about. I have it. Buy the coffee? Yes, I have it. I have it. I have it. I'm going to show it to you after this. I'm surprised, I'm surprised you remember all this because sometimes I feel like, I don't know whether it's just me, but like my, my memory is so poor. I don't mm-hmm. know, but like a lot of stuff that happened in college is such a like, it's in patches. So like no, most times it's like, I remember that, but I don't remember if that happened, that kind of stuff happened. Like um, when you mentioned uh, software engineering, First of all, that was the default. That was the default for computer science. I clicked it. I, Is that what somehow you... I just was like software engineering. Um, cause I, I don't think it was a default. Maybe we had, I mean we definitely had options. There were four options. Because I don't remember seeing that. I definitely would have done that one instead. But when you said that, it kind of really? surprised me. Yeah. Oh, I remember now. Never mind. Okay. okay. I remember I didn't do that one because it had physics, in part, like the path. Because because mm-hmm. I remember I was initially a chemical engineering major. Uh, and I didn't like chemical engineering. Yeah. And then I did computer science because I think I liked that better. But I was like, I'm only going to do this if it doesn't have physics in the path. Yeah. And then I remember choosing the concentration that didn't have physics in the okay. path. But yeah, I'm just, I have to point that out because I was confused because I was like, did we ever have software engineering in like, in that concentration? I remember pool? you said we had the same teacher. Um, I guess I can just say it. Or K, Indian K? guy. Um you see my memory. All right, Kundu. Oh Kundu? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, this is a chemistry, like uh, computer science. Computer science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Class? The first class. Like, the first the class. The basic, I think. Or uh, I took it. Yeah, class. yeah. You were in that class. I wasn't in class with you. I um, took it a different time. Yeah, different time. But, okay. Yeah, you said he helped you out. Like he helped you out with like a little scholarship. He gave me a scholarship. Yeah. This is like the first class that I took in computer science. So I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah. But it kind of seems fun. But I think everyone else in the class was not really doing the work. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, this is not too bad, you know. And I guess I was the best performing in the class. Mm-hmm. I don't understand how that happened because I literally was just doing the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but I guess he was always frustrated because he would always, like, give a, a speech like, you guys don't know how, how, how easy you have it Yo. compared to, like, yeah. the a- he like Asia. He would go off on us. Was, yeah. So yeah. I would just sit there and just do my work. And, you know, I guess at some point he was just like, yeah, like. I see you have potential, yeah. something like that. Give me a scholarship. So I'm pretty grateful to him for, for that. But but yeah, we, yeah, Kundu was definitely somebody I remember for sure. Yeah. So it's funny because our experience with him were, were different. I thought it was like a cool dude. Like the first day in class, he said Lloyd. And I was just like, yeah, he's like, like Lloyd Banks. Lloyd Banks? Yeah. So Who's I was Lloyd just Banks? like, Lloyd Banks, the rapper? G unit. It's oh, a, I know your unit. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. 50, 50 <laughs> cent, all of that. All of them, okay, okay, anyway, okay. So, <laughs> dang, that's crazy. Yes, yeah, so I was like, oh, this older Indian guy knows Lloyd Banks. That's crazy. Um, so, yeah, but but then, I, yeah, I, I, had, I, was, I was struggling, but he believed in me, kind of. <laughs> um, <laughs> he believed in you? A little bit. Not when he came to those labs, but in class, yeah. Yeah, I would mm-hmm. talk. Uh, yeah. yeah. But anyway, so. Fun times, man. 
times. Fun times, right? <laughs> times. That whole they uh, happen. Yeah. That whole college experience was was a good time. Mm-hmm. Um, I wish we had more time though, because I think we only really uh, had like one year. As far as graduate. like knowing each other. As far as knowing each other, yeah, it, was no, it was one year. One year. And it was, we struggled together definitely with yeah. with studying. We definitely was we was hard yeah. hard time. So yeah, hard time, um, but. But no, nah, we definitely, I mean, we got through it. I have no idea how I passed the t- statistics, but that's, <laughs> who cares? Um, I don't know how I did it either, so <laughs> just go. Just, just go. What is that? Moving on. So, yeah. yeah, you want to talk about, like, what you do now? Like, where you took your your talents to? Oh. Or you don't have to say where or what. Um. J- job. Yeah. However, what, or we can move on. So what I don't know. No. First of all, shout out Derica, because I think she's the reason why I have the job I have now, because she um interned. Yeah. At the job I'm in now for the summer, mm-hmm. and I remember waking up one day and being like, "Oh shit, I'm about to graduate! <laughs> I'm about to graduate in like, like in like a month and a half, two months." And I really was going through it. Like I'm telling you, like I had panic. I was having a panic attack and everything because I was like, "Oh my god!" Like I'm not prepared. I haven't. I don't have a job lined up. I'm literally just chilling as if I have another semester of school. Yeah. I was so panicked. So luckily, um, that career fair. And I went to the career fair. Yeah. And then Derek was like, yeah, that's the company that I interned with. And I asked her about her opinion. Mm-hmm. And it was an uh, international paper. So they're yeah. like a manufacturing company that do like box, like Amazon boxes, uh, diapers, like pretty big company actually. Okay. But yeah, yeah. I didn't really know that they had like, they're big in IT as well. So mm-hmm. I had to get a lot of my information from Derek. But she, she, she plugged me. She was my plug. plug. Mm-hmm. Definitely got an interview, got the job. And that's kind of where I've been since I left college. It's been like three years, but yeah. definitely enjoying it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> definitely enjoying it, but not not enjoying the city too much. Mm. It's not my type of city, but no. we talk about this all the time. How my ideal city, the big city, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Big Apple, the city that don't sleep. The city that don't sleep. I never sleep because I, I don't actually want. work night shift. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> so yeah, like that's a uh, that's kind of where I'm right now. Like, should I? Make the plunge. We talked about this the other day, like yep. going to New York or in my mind, Miami. Yeah. But at the same time, I actually kind of like, I'm in this place where I'm like really starting to appreciate Houston, Houston okay. a lot more. Like, okay. I'm just like, you know, Houston's not too bad. Like, the cost of living is great. Like, any yeah. like artist that wants to come and perform, they always have to hit Houston. It's like a big hub for stuff like that yeah, as well. Sure. Yeah. So, like, things are always going on. I was like, I don't know if I can find a low cost of living. Good energy, nightlife, all the stuff that I'm looking for in any other city, you know, because New York has what I'm looking for, but it, like, the cost of living is so high. Yeah, it's atrocious. You know, so, yeah. So that's kind of where I'm right now, I'm trying to like figure out, you know, what's the next best thing for me. Yeah. You know, you know. Yeah, no, I feel. Doing other stuff on the side, but and you know, we talk about real estate. Yeah, we yeah, talk yeah. about me, <laughs> me, me trading. Yeah, I yeah. do a lot of investment kind of planning as well. I'm sad, so that's kind of what I've been doing. Okay, so I have follow-up questions. Um, I'm gonna take a brief second to make sure this camera's still going. Yeah. We had a little, a little hiccup last time, so make we'll, sure. This is probably just gonna cut, and then maybe yeah, I'll play the true. video if you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, welcome back <laughs> to Five Tales. Uh, so yeah, before we uh, cut to the break, cut to the sponsors. Um, you were saying about moving, yeah. Uh, you were talking about how, so another episode, um, my friend came on and she was talking about how she wants seven streams of income and mm-hmm. what she's doing now to get there. Mm-hmm. And then uh, another episode, the homie said, um, you know, once you realize how easy it is to make money, it's basically just how you going to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, for sure. Yeah. For, in, in a way that is, uh, Another episode, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, following your aspirations, mm-hmm. but actually doing what you aspire to do every day. Right. So that it's not like you just keep pushing off actually doing what you're doing. You're doing it every stuff. day. Mm-hmm. So what is it that you want to do mm. ideally for, I don't know, career for yourself every day? What What are your ideal every days would look like in the future <laughs> once you get to this place? Maybe it's, uh, not, maybe it's not working. I don't know. Yeah, first of all, oh, yeah. not working a nine to five is first on my list. Yeah. Um, but hopefully my job doesn't see this at any point in time. Well, they uh, they might. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, I just I don't know what it is, but 
I don't know if it's my my family, my mom and my dad. They they've always had their own businesses. Yeah. So them working for some people for someone is never really. I don't want to say it's not in my bloodline or it's not in my bloodstream because that's not a thing. I mean, maybe. But <laughs> I just don't have like. I just don't like my time being tied down to something, yeah. right? And people say, oh, then it's because you just don't enjoy your job and stuff like that. But I don't think that's what it is. I think it's just, like, I've, I'm valuing, like, a sense of freedom. And yeah. with the 9-to-5 job, like, even right now with the pandemic, it's, like, come to work, you know, work from home. Like, even, like, you'll be with your family, but you have to still be at your desk. And they're, like, they have, like, different techniques now that they're monitoring you. So yeah. they got to make sure the keyboard is not, is clicking, you know, make sure that your screen, <laughs> yeah, yeah. your mouse is moving to make sure that you're working. Yeah. You know, so just that kind of stuff. Like, it's just not, it's not what I like. Um, uh-huh. That's not to say that I don't like people telling me what to do. It's more so like I'd rather that person be me telling me exactly. what to do. Exactly. Right. Yeah, um, <laughs> and I just feel like, yeah, I just, I just want to have like a sense of freedom. Like I, I still, I want to move to Paris and live in Paris in my thirties. Interesting. I definitely okay. want to live in New York. Um, but all those things cost money and I think <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all those things cost money. So at the end of the day, it's like, ah, damn, it's, it's a sacrifice you have to make. But I think I know that. So I'm doing, I'm trying to do other stuff outside of work to try to give myself a platform to build that on. Yeah. And like I said, like I do, I'm really, really heavy into investing, however that looks like, right? We talk about real mm-hmm. estate. We talk about, um, like a lot. and I think everyone's in real estate right now, so I don't really like want to go into the whole idea of real estate because it seems like a talking point for everyone right now. Um, but for me, more so, it's like uh, trading, like day trading, okay, like investing in that way. Mm-hmm. Um, really, really trying to understand what money is, how it, the, the mediums of exchange between you know two people and money, like how how crypto plays into plays into that. Mm-hmm. All that stuff, definitely been studying that for a couple of years now. Um, Currency trading is probably where my domain is right now. Cool. Studying that, have a couple courses that I bought, uh, really trying to get to the point where I feel comfortable investing a large sum of money. Because right now, yes. <laughs> I can like trade, you know, a couple hundred dollars, a couple thousand dollars, mm-hmm. but the real, real money comes from if you can like higher invest. The risk, like, higher the reward. Yeah. yeah. And I'm very risk. I'm sorry, I keep hitting the mic. Yeah, I'm very risk averse. Mm-hmm. That's the term. So. Anything like double digits, <laughs> you know, I almost want to cry. So yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. I need to get to, and I think the only way I can get to that point is like by actually being more confident yeah, in what I'm, yeah, mastery. Mm-hmm. So that's definitely what I'm on the journey of doing right now is trying to master my craft in that area, mm-hmm. feel more comfortable. And then I feel like at a certain point it will just take off for me in that, in that domain at least. Um, and then I just have the platform to do the things that I said, like yeah. move, travel, uh, create different businesses. Yeah. Um, I have some goals that I want to do in my lifetime, with, but it takes a lot of money. I'm talking about millions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So all that stuff, I can't do all that Before stuff. Before you go get a loan, yeah. you might want to learn how, yeah. how, how like, money works. Maybe. All that stuff um, requires money. Yeah. So I definitely that's, need to get that. That's a very good the point. <laughs> <laughs> definitely get that. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. But what about you? Thank you. Thank you. I like when oh, people ask people you. Ask oh, I'm sorry. You. I haven't been asking you, but no, no, that's fine. Um, like one of my friends, she said, "Well, what about you?" What about I was you? like, "Oh, okay." Um, so uh, I just wanted to say something as far as like the the freedom part, mm-hmm. dude. Like, so I have Mondays off. Mm-hmm. So uh, I use. I mean, I'm normally working on my everything that I do. So like a couple Mondays ago, I had this idea, and then I had a friend that's good at you know or in that industry or whatever. So I had something to do, ran the errand, and then I pushed downtown to go uh, have a meeting with her, right? All right. And good meeting, successful. She rocked with the idea. She was like, hey, okay, we can do this, set up the time, that. And uh, I was like, okay, bet. So, you know, left her, uh, pushed back to the crib to, you know, work on whatever I had to work. But as I was driving back home, I'm like, I didn't have to set no alarm today. Mm. Like I made my schedule. Yeah, it worked out. I had a, a meeting that I set up. Feels good. <laughs> Walked around downtown mm-hmm. a little bit. Got to tell, got some food. Checked out a new place. And I, I, even that whole time, like I'm just like I don't know. So for some some reason I don't know. Like the sky was clear. <laughs> I just was like, like yeah. riding back home after having that success. That little. I truly 
felt the freedom. Yeah. I was just like, now, yeah. uh, now multiply this to every day. Every day. Ooh, I yeah. know I can do it. Yeah. That. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. That freedom. Take, it's like, I honestly feel like, you know what's funny? Because, like, when, um, like, when you're working nine to five for like the whole year, it's different than like, obviously it's different in college, right? Where you have like breaks, summer breaks, yeah. uh, Christmas, yeah. like you have yeah. things you can look forward to. So even when you get to summer, it doesn't like going to school doesn't feel too bad during the summer because you, you're really on a break. Yeah, but for yeah. some reason, like with working a job, like the two weeks that they give you off that you can choose whenever you want, mm-hmm. doesn't feel like, still doesn't feel like a break. So like no. when you say like how you can feel it, I feel like, I used to be able to, like, after the first week, two weeks of getting out of school, that's when the feeling of, like, summer, the feeling of the break will kick in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with working, it never that never really kicks in. Yeah. It's always, like, the first week, the second week when it starts to kick in, they ask me to come back to work mm-hmm. or your break is over. Yeah. So it just feels very continuous. It doesn't feel like you ever really have that break. Um, and I noticed that when, if I have a break that's longer than two weeks, I feel like... It's like, I feel like I rested, that's for one. And then two, I feel more, like, less lethargic. Like, yeah. so, like, when I, on the second week, I'm, like, willing to do things. Like, let's go downtown, let's do this, let's do this. But the two weeks before that, before that, I have to go back to work when I'm on the break. Yeah. I literally just want to lay in bed and just rest. Yeah, re- recharge. It's recharge. It's, like, it's much needed, yeah. honestly. It's, it's much needed, but it doesn't, like, that's not the way you should be wanting to live your breaks, right? You should, yeah. like, that third week when I want to go downtown and explore, like, that's how I feel like I want to live my year mm-hmm. and but i never feel like i get that with with my job so honestly i mean that's in two weeks but on you could apply that to a weekend like yeah honestly like yeah. i feel like most people could on a weekend go for i mean you could go for a hike you could go try new places yep but most of the time you know boys just be happy to sit in the room and play the and game just chill. yeah right just, yep you're tired you exhausted you're tired yeah. especially with with um what i'm doing with the trading uh there's like what they call market hours so when i'm working nine to five but really it's actually first of all when they say nine to five it's not nine to five it's nine to like six yeah because you have to account for like lunch, lunch. and stuff like that yeah. and you have to take the lunch so don't <laughs> yeah, yeah. so like it's nice tenant restaurant we, we yeah. don't have like an official break it's just, you have yeah. no official break not official you can take a break you can take I'm a break they not i'm not slaving out here but yeah. yeah yeah but it's they you it's not nine to five is my point um mm-hmm. so like when you finish the day the day you just want to lay down like, and even when you're working from home, it's like you you're working, but you just want to lay on the bed that's right next to you. It's, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's rough. I know it's kind of a uh, it, pretty probably challenging for y'all. Yeah, yeah it's, it's oh yeah, because you stay go, motivated. Yeah, because yeah, you, you go to the you go to the office. Yeah, yeah. For me. so for me it's like oh, do I like working from home? Yeah, I like working from home, but what? do I like going to the office? Yeah, for for different reasons. But in all honesty, it's like neither one. Uh, it's <laughs> yeah, like yeah. neither one. I don't really want to do any of that, but. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't want to keep going into this, but yeah. I think overall, my point is, We've hit it. yeah. I'm a, it's not a five, it's not what it's not, <laughs> yeah. it's not, you know. No, I, I didn't truly answer your question. Or I kind of did. I mean, the same, it's like kind of the same. Uh, I mean, I definitely see myself working. Yeah. But it'd be more so providing services. And honestly, a lot of people always bring me jobs. So what I'm trying to do this mm-hmm. year is... Uh, be able to like put teams together mm-hmm. uh, people someone brings me something i need to tell them okay well look i'm allocating this time in the future yeah, <laughs> to do it to not do it. not no, to no. pile it onto what i'm already yeah. doing i'm glad i just said that because that makes a lot of sense yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that was a good thing i need to write that down right. um so yeah uh even if i keep, I keep working a nine to five or whatever um yeah i'm, I'm always gonna build what i have on the side um which is like podcasts and stuff yeah, like that podcasts, uh, graphic design yeah uh just yeah m- moving into some other stuff so, too, yeah. So, so yeah um but yeah uh, hopefully running my own just running my own thing running your own thing yeah which so is yeah, yeah where the freedom comes into play mm-hmm. i think one thing that i'm really because i just saw that book that's on your shelf right there the filmmaker's handbook I actually, I, I should read that. I feel like that's something that I want to get into, like filmmaking. Okay. Because I feel like I have this creative side that I was hoping to tap into with computer science degree, because there's a bit of it that is creative when mm-hmm. you code and stuff like that. 
you know, but when you get into a very controlled environment, which is a company, you have to work within a certain, the you know, restraints, yeah. restraints like, right? So it's literally not, whatever they have. To work yeah, with, yeah. So it's not as free, mm. but um, I think I like that, but I think I want to be more creative, like on my own front, like, so filmmaking yeah. and I don't know if you watched the show Euphoria. I haven't. Yeah. You haven't? No. You should get into that, okay. first of all. So but um, might. it's not PG-13, but you should get into it. Um, I can handle it. You're right. A, part, a big part of, like, that show is, like, the, I don't know, the cinematography, like, how they, they sequence everything together. Like, mm-hmm. the hue, like, the lighting, everything about that show, I feel like, is so beautiful. Yeah. And the way they make it. <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it's, like an art form that you don't really see often in the film industry Mm -hmm. and it just made me really appreciate that creative side and I feel like that's something that I definitely want to tap into more um just being more like creative it doesn't matter how that looks like film um not music but (laughs) I can't hey at least you know some people out here need a uh not I can I feel like I can produce music like I can make a couple beats, you mm-hmm. know, drums yeah. and stuff okay. like that. Cool. <laughs> but um, oh, I actually have a rap song. I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to show you after this. Oh, I got one for you too. Oh, do you? All right. Everybody's All right. got one. I, or two. I'm certain of it. Yeah. I have a um, a diss track from my brother that I made, and I produced the oh, the song and everything. This... I'm, I'm gonna play it for you. Okay. But um, yeah, like even that. <laughs> what <when> I... <laughs> made you so mad? Don't even. You <laughs> produced and rap. I produced um. That's okay. So, you can serve me. so <laughs> bad, but but um, just that like when I was going through the process of like making the diss track, it was it was very therapeutic. It was very it was very fun. I enjoyed dissing you. Yeah, it was. You will ever. <laughs> it was it was very therapeutic. It was. Uh, okay. I definitely enjoyed specifically. <laughs> you have yeah, right. Brothers. <laughs> no, I have like three brothers. That's what I was saying. But it was my... It was, it was one. It was a brother right right below me. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay, okay. And we okay, went... Okay. It was me and my best friend. We went, we went in. It was yeah, speechless. You brought someone in? Yeah, it was me and my best friend. Because she actually can rap. Oh. I was just like... Gonna... <laughs> you like, look, I need your help. I was just like, yeah, like, let's come up with a drift track. Because he's really pissing me off. <laughs> Has like, he heard it yet? Huh? Has he heard it yet? Yeah, he heard it. Oh, okay. Um, it was one of those when Biggie heard hit him up, you just had to say, all right. Got, what do you mean? He, he got. So I, I heard when Biggie heard when Biggie heard hit him up with Tupac by t- mm-hmm. Tupac the diss track to mm-hmm. him. Uh, they were like he was like nah I'm not gonna respond. You know it, it is what it is. It, but know. he could though. But he could respond. That's the difference between that and me and my brother. Is yeah. when I did diss track and I sent it to him, mm-hmm. he couldn't bounce back. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, okay. That's the Wait difference. That's the difference. You got him good. All right. So um, can't wait to listen. Yeah, but. I forgot what I was saying, but... Oh, my God. Hold on. Yeah. Let me, let me cut real quick. Yeah, go sure. ahead. We're going to take a brief break. Boom. <laughs> and we back. Anita was talking about being creative. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah. Um, but, yeah. I think my point... The point I was trying to make was uh, just the whole process of of uh, making the beat. It was on GarageBand. Like, there was a very limited yeah. beats, but it was, it, was, it was a variety of things that I threw in there, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sonic. Yeah, so it was the whole process was very very therapeutic. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed it, and I I could definitely, when I was making it, I was like I could definitely see myself like, you know, doing something with music more so like on the producing side. Um, I wouldn't. You were just saying tapping into your creativity. Yeah. Uh, filmmaking. You think that's is that something you've tried before? Or where do you see yourself going creatively? <sighs> Um, and this is good. This is a good segment because I was gonna talk about like what you do for like hobbies mm, and stuff like that. So I feel like uh, filmmaking is more so like I don't know what. That's the thing. Like I'm saying this stuff. It's just what I feel, right? That's okay. I feel like uh, filmmaking. Anything that allows me to be more creative, yeah. point blank, right? Uh, filmmaking. Um, I feel like it's something I want to tap into more, just because I feel like it's something that I would do well in, um, and I kind of understand, like, just by even just watching a show, I can understand, oh, I know what they did there, mm-hmm. you know, and I could see how I could apply that, you know. I haven't gotten to the point where I'm like, oh, I know what I'm going to do or anything like that, but just the essence of it, I feel like I want to do more in that space. Okay. Um, I definitely had an, an Uber driver, because I like to talk to my Ubers. Um, an Uber driver, he was in the filmmaking space. He actually has his production, his own, like, film production company. Yeah. company. And, like, I talked to him about it. He was like, yeah, 
you know, kind of shared the same thing I'm sharing to you now about my interests. And mm-hmm. he was just telling me a little bit about it. But when he was telling me, I realized, like, it wasn't it wasn't a bad space to get in. And, like, I definitely, there's a lot of opportunities out there. So um, I know you say you do a lot of film stuff. Like, you wanted to get into that as well. Yeah. So I, I do a little writing. Uh, script writing? Basically, yeah. Like, I, I don't have no formal teaching mm-hmm. or training, but people, I mean, I show people things, they like it, and we, yeah. put, we put, together. put things together. Because you did something at LSU, right? Like I said, LSU, I did, um, yeah, we did a short film for one of my friends, uh, well, that was centered around his character, mm-hmm. so that was that was pretty cool. Um, right now, I'm doing a virtual reality uh, mm. videos with longboarding, remember I skated? Really? Uh, so now I just record myself longboarding, edit it up a little bit. I do time lapse videos where yeah. like uh you know, we skate and it looks out sure you got towards our yeah. might have showed you. Um Yeah, so yeah, big into videography. Um and I'm looking for someone to help me with my stuff. So oh, honestly, yeah? if you wanna bring your talents hey. to what I got going on. Uh, hey, let's do it. I might need you if you if you hear. Um Yeah, when people now when people say they have have or want to start podcasts like i'm definitely down to pull up like let, let me executive produ- really? let me producer yeah yeah let me, um it's just yeah i want to move to a studio like I'm, I'm just trying to up the production like my friend made a good point when he saw me you know and start executing these pie tales. he was just like bro like think about if we would have had this equipment back when we were making like the short film we did uh here like mm-hmm. at this, basically at my house out, outside we did like a Mm, a real life video game mm. yeah so it was like for first person i might have just held my camera up to my friend's chest and like walk with him oh really yeah and then we had we had a whole fight scene outside i gotta show you that after this because oh, really? it's actually pretty good yeah with the iphone mm-hmm. um and just like the limited time that we had so yeah i'm just trying to up the production I, okay I, yeah you could probably see the development i, I see I was, I was, i'm gonna show you something i was surprised when i came in here and i saw the setup like the cameras and everything. I was like, okay. Thank you. I ain't, I ain't playing. <laughs> <laughs> this is no, this is no deal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I got a question for you though. So, um, I know we touched up on the real estate side. Um, I want to know kind of what your thoughts are on that because you were in that space for a while. And I remember I was gonna link with you and look at some properties together. But yeah. 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 You know. So for about definitely for a good year, I was uh had the intention of trying to cop a real estate property. Um, so, I mean, I hadn't told this story. This is Pie Tales. So me and my friend, I told him, we were sitting in the parking lot, basically where I got these cookies. I was like, bro, like, I'm thinking about real estate. Mm. So I pulled up a property that I was looking at. That was, you know, uh, down the, kind of into Houston. He said, bro, like, yeah, I mean, you know, you know, I think about it too, so let's pull up. So we pulled up at the, mm-hmm. at the place um he he's he's more just like i'm gonna talk to these people so he started calling the real estate agents yeah. started getting more information this lady um this lady just started helping us with terms and this that and the mm-hmm. other over the phone while we sitting in front of the house we watching other people come look at the house yeah so he's like all right so we push back to where you know the city and um he hit up this dude that he hadn't talked to in four years it was an older guy uh dude literally told him he gave he gave him the homie like two books He's yeah. Like, go read them, and I'll see you. Oh. Four years ago, four or five years ago. Never saw him. Uh, no. But the homie did read. You know, the homie read the books. He hit him up this day. He told dude how much money he had saved up, and dude was like, "I'll meet with y'all." We met with him. This is all in the same day. I mm. told him we're meeting with this uh mm-hmm. realtor. Uh, dude was like, "I'm a. I got these properties over here. Uh, you know, they're in development. I'm gonna take y'all over there." Uh, put some down, get a lot today. So we went from, hey oh, man, he you want, hey yeah. man, you want to do this? To we are uh, talking about putting putting the what's it called? I forget the like good faith down mm. deposit down mm-hmm. for this for a crib. So Both it's from, a it's a like a property like a home or just a plot of so land. It's a home. So wow, what, okay. It, it was in a new development like little area. You know they were building up a community. Yeah. Uh, so the homie he put he picked the house. My, my I picked basically where the house would be when it was in development because mm-hmm. he had a little bit more money. I was gonna stack a little bit more. By the time I did, I would have copped that. So we brought the ideas that the dude was telling us to our people basically, and they were just kind of like, mm, y'all might want to slow the brakes. Y'all running downhill. 
Like, really? Yeah. They, with the numbers and everything. Yeah. And just the strategy, the plan. Mm-hmm. They were thinking, mm, maybe not. So yeah. we were thinking too. Like, <laughs> yeah. all right, maybe not. So were you, were you ready? You weren't ready. You kind of felt like, oh, shoot, like it's going fast. We were going to do it. Honestly, probably if we ain't talked to our people, we were probably going to jump in it. Mm-hmm. But the risk the risk was a little higher than what, like you was talking about mastering something. Mm-hmm. We, for our first property, it, it might have been a little too high okay. for, for us. So yeah. we backed out of that. Um, we got with this other realtor lady through a family friend. Uh, so uh, basically... Had a group message me, him, and her. Um, she, we'd send her stuff, and she was our realtor for like a year. Oh, okay. So you know, I was, we was actively going to see places, um, thinking of watching hella YouTube videos, mm-hmm. joining hella communities, doing a lot. But at the same time, this is pa- crazy pandemic times. Yeah. Uh, housing market is shooting up, so it's yeah. I hate to say it, I'm gonna just talk. So like house in, house in the hood basically was <laughs> sky high like no other house they, they rent, people investors come in uh, renovated selling it for ridiculous prices like kudos to them because mm-hmm. no other house in the area mm-hmm. like I'm thinking of one specifically was mm-hmm. worth what they sold this house right. for like they paying people paying Premium. what the the market price like yeah. what they got <laughs> yeah full <laughs> I was like nah <laughs> I always I, when I look at houses I always. I don't really care about the pictures. I always go to like, I don't know if you, there's like the panorama view, like you can get on maps. Yeah, 360. Like 360, I always go there. Yeah, like yeah. I'll click on that and I'll be like, let me see like the surrounding houses. Mm-hmm. Let me see the neighborhood. Cause that's really what tells you like the environment you're living in, yeah. one. And whether the house was just like, they trying to like inflate the price and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So that's what you're saying happened? Like basically, so maybe in a few years, you know, gentrification, all this stuff, maybe yeah. those houses are going to be worth a lot. But yeah. Right now, it's, it's not. It ain't even looking like, yeah. you know. I remember, so we, we the, the house I'm talking about, which, that was two that we checked out. You know, the other one was a few minutes away from it. We pulled up to it. And I don't know what price it was. My realtor was like, you would ask way less than that. But we pulled up, and it's like the community, like, didn't want people to move in there. Dude, oh, like, really? dude walked to his car, turned the music, the bass was shaking the house while we was in it. Really? <laughs> It was quaking. Uh, she was like, you sure you want to look at this? And, you know, by the time we got done looking at it, like, it's funny because the music was off and we dipped out. We were like, yeah, that's a, that's a no-go. So, yeah, the price was just stupid high. Um, and we were just learning. So we did the right thing by just, like, you know, trying, jumping mm-hmm. in the space. But um, I need more money saved. and More and he experience. wanted to, and he wanted to go in it together um, i'm not all the way sure because because we knew and we, we were kind of we, we wanted to buy it i wanted to buy it now i feel like i'm going on forever but i no, wanted to on. i wanted to buy and hold do do the buy and hold method he's more in the fix and flip so mm-hmm. that would take more money mm-hmm. uh to put down and whatever whatever um but then you flip it and then you'd have to keep doing that because he's he's thinking about making we're both kind of on the same wave, mm-hmm. the same wave, but yeah, I'm definitely thinking buy and hold. But right now, so I'm saying all this to say I kind of got out of that mentality because I'm about to mm-hmm. move out and rent, mm-hmm. which is not what I wanted to do. I want to have a rental yeah. property before yeah. I moved out. Yeah. Um, but my thought process is, you know, what are we talking about? I want to keep or so start creating businesses. So yeah. that's kind of the focus right now. Mm, okay. So you know, the real estate and even the you know my money situation is need to give my money up a little bit and i feel like i can do that with businesses and yeah starting to create silence, silence, silence. i mean at least you try like at I least, sure did. yeah because <laughs> i feel like watching like videos like everyone wants to be a real estate investor yeah, or at least yeah. to get into real estate somehow watching videos is not the same thing as like actually being going through the motions. being in the house and going through the motions mm-hmm. and like everything that's involved in that process and actually putting the money down go ahead i actually almost got a place uh, it was on but it was on the market like three days we mm. pulled up with the realtor it was gonna it was gonna be for me that i would rent out maybe in a year overpriced they priced you out yeah people it was like three offers yeah yeah so yeah i think it's that's what i'm that's that's the that's what i was gonna say like it's very tricky right now especially mm-hmm. with the pandemic it's very unprecedented but i think the market right now is for people who have been in the game for yeah, a while had a bag before yeah it. been in the game because they <laughs> understand where to look as yeah, a right. first time home buyer or somebody who's just not getting into real estate 
it's very tricky to understand how to navigate like everything right now. Yeah. Um, but I actually don't know who am I to say because I haven't invested in real estate or anything like that. But uh, I think you're right. <laughs> but I'm observing, and uh, that's what it looks like right now. It just seems very tricky. You don't really know if you're in a bubble. You don't know if it's a good value. You mm-hmm. haven't understood like the environment you're in enough to understand like how things compare. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a lot, but. I'm happy that you at least try, you know. Yeah, thanks. Happy um, you at least try. Yeah, I'm down to, you know, talk about it more and my findings, share some all the resources that I found and got. Mm-hmm. Um, big into that. That's why we're doing this. Network, keep it going. Keep it you going. Know, more people you got on the same wave, the tighter the click. The, yeah. Or on a different wave, too, because you, you'll be, pe- like, knowing people who aren't doing stuff that you're doing Yeah. is also the next the move, too, you mm-hmm. know. Uh, because they introduce you into new industries, new avenues that you never thought of. Uh, like, I, I would never have gone into, like, investing in currencies or crypto or anything like that if I didn't meet people who are on, on that different wavelength. Yeah. So. Honestly, me too. Shout out to my coworkers. You know, they've, they put they've, you on? they've helped a lot. That's why I'm uh, actually moving downtown. That's another, that's another reason. Uh, network. Networking. Be able to meet people. Yeah. Like-minded. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I was, um... Overpriced, maybe, but no, whatever. you. It's, I mean, with the with, I'm thinking my mindset is in the right place. So yeah, it all for sure. Mesh well. Yeah, you want you. I think you're on the right track oh, at, at this point. You know, we're still gonna have to make the jump to New York at some oh, point. We, we got but, to. But uh, right now, definitely, definitely, um, definitely the move. I think that's one of the reasons why it's like okay, uh, I probably still don't want to make that jump to New York anytime soon because I almost feel like right now I think the most important thing for me right now is stability and mm. like uh, if I make that jump there's it's really unstable especially right now especially in this climate yeah yeah it's like yeah. really unstable um, like I said I'm very risk averse but I'm trying to do better with that <laughs> that's okay that's but um, my job is the stability of my job is, is also a factor as well like if I were to quit my job and try to do something else yeah. that job may not be here in the next year if things get worse with the pandemic and everything like that so there's a lot of thoughts going through my head about what's the next best thing, but, um, but yeah, it's, yeah, you know, I know you made the best decision for yourself. <laughs> right. I, I believe in it. I believe in you. But I'll, I'll overthink myself out of an opportunity Me too. for sure. I'll think like, Oh, I need to, it's not, no, nah, that's not the move. That's not, and then I'll just be stagnant. So that's my big thing as well. So like, I'm trying not to make that same mistake. Sometimes it's just good to just like make the jump and yeah. just yeah. take the risk regardless. But yeah. I'm not there yet. <laughs> well, I think we we kind of both kind of agreed on the phone the other day. A year, we gonna see where each other. Oh at. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, probably even sooner, cause mm, really? you know, because I I almost have to force myself to like take that risk. It's scary, cause I was looking at a like apartments out there, and I was like, I don't know if I can. <laughs> oh, Lord, mercy, Jesus. I don't know if like <laughs> it's worth it. Like I was just like, Jesus, what? So even with me been moving out uh, and paying what I'm about to pay and whatever all that other stuff, I'm thinking like, bro, like. You can't get like this time back. Yeah, I feel like we're at a... it. Sucks with the time. pandemic too, yeah. cause it's like, yeah. bro, I should have been. I, I was trying to be up, turned up, and mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> do all of live yeah. my best life. But yep. um, you know, you're not gonna get this time back. So it's just like, if you want to do it, Kanye said something that was really good. He said, you know, don't worry so much about the numbers. And maybe he was only talking to us. You know, some people really have and, to yeah. worry about. Mm-hmm. But he was just saying like. Uh, you know, life, the elements, everything, all this is is, is bi- bigger than the numbers. The mm. higher ups use the numbers to control us. So, mm. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. That's definitely something I'm trying to implement right now. Like, stop worrying too much about the details because I could, I could be a perfectionist at times, making sure all the pieces of the puzzle are where they need to be before I make jump. Mm-hmm. But I think I've spent so much of my life doing that to the point where it's like, nah, at this age, it's kind of like, I'm going to try something different and see yeah, the yeah. results of that. So, <laughs> still like... <laughs> I'll go put your business out there a little go bit. Ahead. Uh, we was in college about to graduate. Mm-hmm. You, you you had this whole, <laughs> I know what you're about to say. You had this whole I know what you're about to say. I know what you're about to say. Don't do this to me. Like, okay, I won't. But I even, when, even when we were... Uh, how you were saying you started to re- remember the story that I was talking about? Yeah. I'm remembering you... <laughs> I know what you're about to say. I know what you're about to say. I know what you're about to say. <laughs> Just, just know I know. Just know I know. I, we didn't know. We had known each other for a long yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're about to say, and I'm going to get there. I'm still going to get there. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. I don't have them today, but I had got my ears pierced. Oh, really? That was cool. 
Uh, Recently? That was something, yeah, uh, you know, last year or whatever. Mm. Two years. I thought it was two years. Because mm. I was worried that it might have closed. I can't. I kept losing and buying more, losing and buying more. Yeah. I said, chill out for a second. So I'm about to go get some again. I'm thinking about, I want gauges. Hey, gauges. hey, leave in the comments. Should Lloyd get gauges? <laughs> Is that what? And remember, we got to talk to the camera. Did you forget the camera to here? I, I, I did for a second. At, I've been looking at you. I was like, oh, shoot, I have to look at the camera, too. Nah, it's okay. It's going to look all right. Uh, you good. Um, gauges, gauges, those are like the round mm -hmm, with the mm -hmm, opening? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought that was something else. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. But I thought that was something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few people have told me. A few people that I value their opinions have told me no. <laughs> hey, go for it. But shh, they be... They don't have to live with the regrets that I might have. But, mm. yeah, no, I do like the earrings. I'm like, that's something that I put off for a long time. Yeah. Really? Uh, Getting your ears pierced? Yeah. I thought it was, like, a the norm now. So, like, was it fear or is it just... just uh, you know, some people in my life <laughs> like, no. have an expectation for me. Mm. <laughs> mm. And I was, uh, put those on me or myself, too. And I can't blame nobody else. I was a little scared, too, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, we uh, try to do certain things so that we can be in certain places mm -hmm. you know you don't want to mess those oh okay you know, you don't want to mess things up for I yourself see. but honestly you get it it's not a, it's not that serious that's what i had to learn as soon as she i said could have been did this could have been in a, <laughs> yeah that's uh, exactly where i am with that thing that i said i was gonna do yeah, yeah. but i never did mm -hmm. yeah same reason hey man that's great same reason we'll get there yeah, we just gotta start. We gotta start going. I'm surprised. I'm surprised I held you back because my because my brother, my little brother, he wanted to get his ears pierced. Still does, and it's like it seemed like it wasn't a big deal. My brother, he pierced his own ears with like uh, paper clips. And he was like, "Yeah, come on, let me do it." Savage. Paper clip. Okay. And I was just like, "Yeah, don't do that," you know. But I didn't think that it was something that was holding you back as far as like for that reason. I haven't done a lot of things either. I'm, I'm, you're, you're, you're telling me, man. Yeah, you're telling me I'm the same me, way. Uh, a lot of things, it's like oh my you God. overthink it, fear, yeah. and then you probably do it at some point. It's like, it's sad, but it's a beautiful thing at the same time. Yeah, I me mean, too. I mean, it's like, yeah. it works. So, yeah. Or, you know. Well, we should make a pack. We got to now. <laughs> we got to make a pack because we're not making moves that we're supposed to make out of fear but well, we are making moves but we're making uh, out moves of fear. okay out of fear you out of fear that. yeah we're making moves but it's like very guided i said on the last episode and i quoted jay prince mm -hmm. and i hope one day jay prince is this is in his uh realm of uh, things that he yeah. watches pays attention to but he did say fear is of god mm. is it, no sorry Whew. fear is not of god i agree so, with that wholeheartedly you, know, you can't say you believe in god and, and trust in god and have fear that's actually something that I was going to get tatted at some point because I strongly believe in that. Although I struggle with it. It's like that principle of like, and I don't mean to get religious here because I'm not really a religious person. I'm more do what you got to do. But it's like, <laughs> For <the> if, people. <laughs> if you say that like you're, like you have faith, like you're a woman of God or a man of God and you have faith, then you they faith and fear cannot exist together. Yeah. yeah. You know, because one, you can't, Live in faith, because faith is just the ability to do something and know that at the end of the day, you know, God got you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's a lack of fear. They can't coexist together. So I think I had to learn that, like, at some of my darkest moments, I had to understand that when I didn't, like, I was grappling for things, mm -hmm. I had to remove that fear from me and have faith, because that's kind of what has to be removed before you have that faith. So that's something I was going to get tatted. That's something that I strongly believe in. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, very, I'm a very anxious person at times, so it's very difficult, too. And I overthink a lot, so it's still very difficult. But we gotta make a pact. She's okay. I hear Anita I'm saying. I'm about to put you. I, no, I, hold up. I hear Anita saying this, but look, <laughs> Anita, I, I would consider Anita a very confident person. Person like Anita would have gone pro, but some things. Oh my her. gosh. She would have like cool swag, drippy. Oh, that come on, me. man. That looks me. But nah, I hear you. I'm not uh, trying to invalidate her. I think gaslight or whatever. <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> you, what you got going on? Going yeah. On. Yeah. Nah, but nah, I believe. But it's not a pack for me. It's a pack for us. Okay. I'm going to hold you to this. All right. Every when, I, when I call you and I say, hey, what's that thing you said you were going to do? We've been doing this, though. Okay, that's true. We, you know, I'm I, not going to hold you. Like appreciate, like, appreciate you calling me. Appreciate you hitting me up. Yeah. Um, yeah, the other day, I mean, we've called other times. Have I been the one that's like been lacking? Like, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, no, we, I feel like when we have talks, it's like check-ins. Yeah. Yeah. It's been need, good. Need that. Yeah. 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 
It's been it's been good. Very like minded. Yeah, no, I definitely definitely appreciate you. Um, do you have any uh, yeah, if, any other questions? I mean, anything? I, I ain't saying we gotta wrap up. Though. Oh no. Uh, ooh, put me on the spot. Any questions? Any questions? Any, anything you want to tell the people? Motivation. What you, what you got? What you got? Uh, Lay it out on the table. I'll say this. One thing I'm really, one thing I'm really appreciating right now during the pandemic is really, it's a lot of self reflection happening on all fronts. Whether that's with your career, whether that's yourself internally, mm-hmm. it could also be negative too. Like people are falling into depression. People are falling and going down the more anxious path about their future. They don't really know what's like nothing certain right now. Um, For sure. I think I'm definitely in a space right now where I'm starting to appreciate the things that I never thought that I valued. Um, so, to the viewers. Yeah, you can speak to the people. To the viewers. Um, <laughs> I think this is, I think one of the things that's happening right now is that this is, everything's kind of going super slow right now. This is an opportunity for everyone to kind of slow down a little bit, uh, evaluate what's important to them in their lives right now. For mm-hmm. me right now, I'm home a lot. Off, I'm home a lot more than I used to be, which is here in Houston, because yeah. I'm starting to realize the importance of me being around my family. Mm. I have a lot of younger siblings that I didn't really watch grow because I was whether in high school, I was in college, you're super young. Yeah. Um, Doing what you had to do. Yeah, me being around them is, is very important to me. Uh, me wanting to not caring about money as much is, is something that I'm realizing. I used to want like this big lavish lifestyle with houses and stuff like that. Yeah. But I'm realizing that's not really as important to me anymore. Um, it's just a lot of self-reflection happening at mm-hmm. this point. I think uh, old friends leaving my life, new friends coming into my life. Um, I think it's got to slow down and really do some self-reflection. I feel like that's what's important right now. Um, and I would encourage people to kind of... <sighs> Just take a breather, reevaluate everything that's happening in their life right now, and really just start to make decisions that are for themselves and be selfish at this point in time. Because I feel like that's kind of what's happening right now with the pandemic, with everything that's happening. So that's kind of my where I am right now, at least with my with my with my life. With my life. What about you? Um, as far as like, do I have motivational things? Or to yeah, think? what's motivating you right now? What's keeping you going throughout this pandemic? You know, uh, you know something. I mean, if y'all had noticed by now, I I, I like to keep in touch with people. Mm. Um, I like people to be like around me. Uh, definitely. I mean, that you know, I trust and uh, have good energy, like-minded. Um, how about it? Yeah. Anytime I've been down or. I, tr- I, re- I naturally reach out to people, mm-hmm. you know, um, I'm pretty uh, kind of like an open book, I would say, to oh, some people, like yeah. me and my friend, we talked for uh, to like two hours the other day about stuff we ain't never talked about, mm. but I was just like, and it was a little, it was a little, it's like stuff I'm comfortable talking mm-hmm. about, but I kept telling her like, uh, now you're starting to get to know me, like, oh, this is oh. all. <laughs> and that's, uh, okay, that's one thing I'm trying to do, is just yeah. like, be uh, like unapologetically me mm. i feel like uh, i definitely controlled tried to control my narrative for a Ooh. long time in other people's minds yeah yeah which i feel like people uh, pleasing pe- pe- people pleasing it's a big one. but so what's getting me through it i mean definitely people you know uh but then also with the people that i know i'm cool with mm-hmm. like we're really cool mm-hmm. just like and just in, in anyone at, at, at this point, just like, you know, we're not apologizing for what we want to do, say. Sometimes yeah. I re- retract my sentences, like when I'm back yeah. and text, I say, oh, yeah. did, would this person want to hear that? Yeah. Or am I being too much of um, like a, so just yeah. send it off. Yeah, like yeah. those old concerns you used to have, like double texting and stuff like that. Yeah. Stuff like that. Waiting the text. Yeah. That's so, like that. that's, that's like high school, you know. Because you really just want to be yourself at this point yeah. and just have a community of people around you that aren't going to judge you for who you are. and But still helping you grow, though. But they're not still oh, judging you. They're very yeah. understanding and forgiving of your faults um, because they understand at the end of the day they see you grow. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, one thing I would... I, uh, <clears throat> I'm very neutral with a lot of my friends. Mm-hmm. And I've always said that it works for me. They know it. Mm-hmm. But... uh 
sometimes you know I should voice how I feel a little mm. bit more. Okay. Like put it, yeah. So which is, I feel like I've been doing recently, um, and since I thought about it a couple of years ago, told one of my friends. Um, but yeah, even uh, one something I wanted to tell a friend uh, recently is just like like you said, moving through this pandemic. He said he's you know a little tired of living a uh, check to check type mm -hmm. thing, and he's uh, he's opening up to new yeah, ideas yeah. and this that and the other. And you have to do that when you met when you around me, like because yeah. I'm, I'm gonna put you on some other stuff. No, for real. Uh, so yeah, one thing I want to tell him is just like. Uh, Keep an open mind around this time. Mm -hmm. Keep an open mind. Yeah. Don't burn no bridges. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do things you're not comfortable with doing or learning them. Because yeah. uh, things aren't things aren't things aren't hard, man. We're we're all like you do things that someone else probably thinks is, thinks is hard, mm -hmm. but it's easy to you. Take yeah. that same mentality that you use to do the things that you know how to do, mm -hmm. and uh, remember when you're doing something else that's not comfortable, you you can get to that level of yeah like comfort comfort in something else. yeah might take a little bit longer but it took you long i mean it, you went through some trials in the beginning when you did whatever you do <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah yeah rewind that yeah. <laughs> if you didn't get it yeah. oh but yeah 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 and don't let nobody project their own insecurities onto your your life and project those limitations onto you because that's the thing that's happening right now too like people you know don't do that or don't do this like the same thing you say like mm -hmm. it might take you a little longer um, and people, you'll definitely feel people's doubts when it comes to the things that you're trying to pursue. Like you'll feel that from them, yeah. but don't let that stop you um, from pursuing the things that you want to do right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. We're growing, man. Yeah, we we grow, we try, we move in. Thanks for we're coming moving. on the show. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah. I'll uh, definitely be back. Got I'll definitely to. be back. I'm saying you don't have no choice at this point. Oh. <laughs> I'm locked in. This is a good one. Uh, appreciate you pulling out. Do you have any? people need to follow is that are you one of those got anything you need to oh no you just have, gonna come back and a... come back and update the people on this, yeah on i don't really platform. use social media as much yeah. uh i don't really have an instagram okay. or twitter or much like that oh but, no that, that's okay just just if but uh, i may have i may have a plug next time i'm gonna come on all right because i'll probably be doing some like teachings with some of the currency exchange that i'm doing I'm trying to help people like learn it and stuff like that so i might have a plug next time I bet if you can't make it on on which shouldn't be a problem we can do video call or whatever but okay. just let me know when you got it i'll post it they'll pe the people will know you okay at this point that's what i do get uh, other people familiar with the people that are on this show okay these are people these are people y'all need to know because i know them okay and they're doing good stuff so yeah Appreciate this it. has been an episode of pie Tales. thanks for showing up thanks for pulling up thank you lord we out see y'all That was the intro. Yeah. This is history.